Earlier in the season, Wade had a chance to take his Cabela's regulator bow by Bowtech out to a spot that has puzzled the crew. You know, starting back to the first week of deer season, I had been sitting in this stand on occasion, as well as other people, and had uh, hopes for great success, had seen a lot of sign. Uh, scouting cameras were showing indications of deer rubs in the area, trails beat down like crazy, uh, water source right there. I mean, all the variables to, you know, have a great uh, hunting location were there, with the exception of bucks coming through. Um, so as the season began to progress, I, I could not get this stand out of my mind and I just felt like it was time to get back into this stand. We haven't sat there in a long time. So we had a plan because we knew the conditions were getting right for this stand to literally go in the night or the afternoon before and put a, a camera underneath my feet that I would be able to manipulate a little bit while Kevin stood behind me and worked this new high-end slow motion angle that we were wanting to put in on a, uh, on a hunt. You know, and when you start throwing all these other gadgets in there into something that's as intricate as, as bow hunting, you can really ask for a lot of mistakes, but sometimes things just happen to work out the right way. Not long after the guys set up, a fantastic mature eight point walked into range. I mean, I can't tell you how many years and how many hunts that we have filmed and we dream of the perfect shot. We dream of the perfect angle. We dream of these things. It's, it's you know, not only do we love the hunting, but we like the aspect of catching again on film. This particular shot, we've used it many times over and over because it is a special one. Um, you know, this deer comes in from the left to the right I was already familiar with the deer. I knew him on, as soon as I had seen him. And you know, everything in my mind had played to this point all year long. And I knew the angle and I knew what we were trying to accomplish. And as I went to full draw, I could only imagine what was going through Kevin's mind behind him because he was trying to capture this perfect shot. And he literally only had a 12 second or so window on the camera that he was using to be able to say when to start it, when to stop it, so he could capture what was going down. And I'm telling you, it was perfect. <laughs> like the boat thing right there, I mean, boat. He was running two or three other bucks off under these live oaks right here this morning. He'd blow out, he'd push them off, he'd blow out, push them off. We were waiting on getting light, and he finally, when he went behind that little bush here, I said, I gotta draw it right now. It's getting kind of tense in here. <laughs> Smoked him. <laughs> you know, I've shot a lot of deer, and I've gone on a lot of TV shoots, but I can tell you, some of them just stand out more than others. And it may be a small bluegill or it may be the biggest deer of your life that makes them become special. In this case here, it was the culmination of a lot of hard work, a great buck, perfect camera work. And uh, I got fortunate and made a shot that I probably, in hindsight, if I wouldn't have mentally practiced all year long and been so comfortable with, I might not have taken that shot because in real life, when you watch that buck, he's moving pretty quick. In slow motion, he looks a lot slower. So uh, this is one that I'm going to remember a long time because of the factors for our, all of our team came together and we got a great one. There he is right there, boys. <laughs> That is awesome right there, guys. <laughs> that shot couldn't have gone in better if the draw threw it up. Congratulations to Wade and the crew on a perfectly executed archery hunt.